right, we are back. I'm Sean Barr, and at Looking Point, we help IT organizations make decisions around collaboration, security, and networking. We posted a blog about upgrading your Cisco Switch iOS. There were comments, and the comments said, hey, can you provide us more information? We want more. That's exactly what we're gonna do in this video. I'm gonna bring in Trevor. We're gonna go through a Cisco Switch iOS, some of the options, and just talk about it. This is the Tech Talk. All right, we're back and we're gonna be going through upgrading a Cisco Switch iOS. But before we get into that, let me grab Trevor so I can bring him in here so we can take us through the whole process. So let me get him on video here. All right, let's give him a call. Hey, Trevor. Hey, what's going on, Sean? Hey, where you at? Oh, I'm in staging. You wanna help me uh, do a Switch iOS upgrade? Take us through the process? Oh, perfect. Get in here, man. All right, I'll be right there. Okay, bye. All right, so Trevor's going to teleport in here, and we're going to get started about talking about the Cisco Switch iOS upgrades. Oh, wow. Hey, hey that was awesome. Yeah. That was quick. Uh, very quick. All right, so hey, one of the things that we want to talk about is upgrading Cisco switches, and there's two ways to do it. The way I know of is bundled mode, which is traditional. Just take the iOS, upload it, change the boot parameter, and go. Yeah. You're coming with the new school. Give it to me. Yeah, so this uh, second version is called uh, install mode. Okay. Uh, and so it only works on iOS XE. Okay. It doesn't work on old iOS. That's, you know, a big difference between the two. Yeah. Uh, and But what it offers is a bunch of good features for, like, switch stacks and okay. stuff like that. Um, so we can go through the process. Uh, yeah, so, so before we jump in, mm -hmm. uh, one of the things is... Uh, you mentioned a lot of great features. Why would why would somebody want to do install mode versus traditional bundle mode? Yeah, so the in bundled mode, you have to actually like upload uh, the image to every single switch. Okay. And basically treat every switch like it's a single thing, which in a switch stack, you kind of want to treat everything as, as one big stack. Yeah. Uh, so in install mode, you really are just uploading the image to the master, and then the master, you run a script, and the master actually just takes care of everything for you. Awesome. So it sounds better than the old way. Right. In addition to uh, that, install mode also offers a bunch of like auto upgrade fe features so that if you add a member to the switch stack, it'll automatically upgrade that member and just upload that one member rather than in in doing the whole stack and bringing down that particular closet. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's, uh, let's get into an upgrade. All right. Let's do Are it. Are you ready? Yeah. All right. So the first thing uh, we got to do, just like in bundle mode, we need to get the image to the switch. Uh, so we're going to download the, the binary and upload it to like an FTP server, which is what we're doing in this case, uh, and then copy that to the master switch. Uh, so you'll see here, uh, we're just going to the master switch. We don't have to go to any other switches. Um, and once that's done, then we'll be able to actually then just run the script. Okay, and so so I can see here it's it's starting to copy down the image, and mm -hmm. that's great. Okay, so progress is going along, all right, and we'll just wait this thing out until it gets copied to Flash. Right. Okay, now that we're done, uh, we're gonna do the uh, command install, add, and then we do the actual where we actually uh, FTP the the image. So, so it says Flash. The, yeah, the Flash. Uh, okay. And then I like to add. Uh, two optional keywords, which is uh, uh, activate and commit. Uh, these actually will uh, be used so that I don't have to be prompted for like, do I want to activate? Yes. Do I want to commit? Yes. You know, kind of thing. Um, so it'll just automate the whole thing. Uh, now, once we we'll see what we're launching that. Uh, so the first thing it'll do is that it's actually going to take that uh, that binary and it's actually going to install it on all of the switch members. So in this case, we have four switch uh, members in the stack. So all four of those uh, members are getting that so that in, in the future, if they ever become master, they have the image. Got it. Um, next, after uh, this is complete, then we'll actually go through and it'll ask, do you want to reload? And if, if you want to actually just stop and you don't want to say you're doing this kind of as a prep before mm -hmm. a maintenance window, yep. uh, you can stop here, 
And then during the maintenance window, you can resume and, and, and hit yeah, uh, and then actually reload, and it'll go through and it'll then activate commit and then reload the actual switch. Uh, so for here, test purposes, we're, we're just gonna reload right now. Got uh, it. So we're hitting yes. Okay. Next, you'll see that we're going through the activate. Uh, so it's not prompting me because I had had that activate keyword. Now we're, we're seeing it when doing the commit. Uh, again, because I had the commit uh, keyword, uh, it's not asking me if I want to commit. Um, and now we're actually going through and it's actually upgrading the, uh, the MCU, which uh, this is one of those, you, know, you can see in the screen there, it says do not power cycle. Uh, you know, you're going to basically brick the, the switch if you do. Yeah. Um, uh, I have not uh, done that yet. Maybe we should. Uh, let's not. <laughs> uh, so now we're actually reloading the switch here. And uh, it's basically just doing like a normal reload like you would. It's going to, you know, check the, the image uh, validity, check the, uh, uh, the MD5, and then it's going to actually, you know, boot up in the new version. Awesome. Awesome. Um, so that's really it. Yeah. And actually we can do, we can do show version. Uh, we'll see we're on the new version here. Mm -hmm. um, so that, that's it. That's literally two commands, the copy in and then the actual running the script that did the whole thing for us. And the whole switch is now, uh, the whole switch stack is now upgraded. That's awesome. And so, so what we did for you guys watching this video is we sped it up in the areas where like we're copying the image, we're, uh, you know, installing the image, the reload, the mm -hmm. flashing, um, you know, this took a couple minutes on video, but really on our side, it took what? 20 minutes. Okay. 20 yeah. minutes. And then what about the reload? Did it have take, was it all in 20 minutes? Yeah. So the whole process reload and everything, yeah. uh, was 20 minutes. Okay. Okay, great. So you're watching this, uh, and, uh, it may seem like it was three, four minutes. It was actually 20 minutes. So yeah. just saving you some time. Trevor, I really appreciate you being out here and, and, and uh, taking us through it. Yeah, this is good times. Awesome. Well, if you guys have any questions or anything you'd like, uh, maybe we said something in this video that you're like, hey, I'd love to know more about that. Make sure you leave a comment. Make sure you like and subscribe so you get all of our content as we release it. And we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.